Okay, here's a little update on my back axle, um, on the rear axle. Uh, I've stripped the differentials down, um, so I've got one here which I've made up out of all the best bits from my three axles. Um, four half shafts here, I've taken the best two, mounted them in here. Um, a couple of common problems with Austin 7 half shafts. The keyways can break up. Um, so you can see that one. There's a huge chunk taken out here. Um, obviously it should look something like that. Um, so this one here is this one here is knackered. Um, you probably could re-weld it, but it's just not worth it really. And um, buy new ones. <coughs> The other thing to do is on this end check for wear here, that's where the bush is, there's a bush in the uh, carrier. Um, so we've got two carriers, pinion wheel, this pinion's pretty worn um, so I probably won't use that one again. Um, this carrier's okay. Um, I'll just show you these, right, these are all the uh, differential gears. Um, I kind of Pick and choose the best ones. So the best ones have already gone in that differential. These are the second best ones. In there. And those are the worst ones. Um, so you can check those when you take take apart. But that's got some corrosion on it. Uh, when you clean these, you want to check the little oil holes there, um, just to make sure they're clear. So you get some oil down onto the shafts. Um, yeah, so these, I'll give you a quick run through, those go through there, like that, like that, and the other one, those will drop on there. When you put these together, you want a little bit of grease or assembly paste or even just oil, um, just to make sure everything's lubed up, and then you insert, that will go on to, into there, um, and also you've got to remember to put the half shafts in. Now on these you can change the bush in the centre. Um, it's like a sort of copper, copper bush in there. But these are all reasonably okay, I think usable. Um, yeah, so it's just a little update. Um, all these teeth are pretty good. The, uh, the two pinions, the two crown wheels. Um, the best ones I can get two two axles out of three. Um, that's the pinion gear there. And I think you ideally you want to have a matched matched pinion and crown wheel. Um, so that, that they will have worn worn together. So you'll get a much better much better gear mesh. Um, yeah. Uh, got loads of bolts, lots of bolts and bits and bobs. Yeah, so that's that's about it for the moment. I'm gonna start reassembling this uh, differential back into the casing. Now, one thing you can do is check the run out on this gear. So once it's all bolted back together, you want to make sure that that's running true. Um, you're allowed a certain amount of uh, certain amount of movement, but you want to keep to the minimum. So I've, uh, you can see my setup here. Got this little uh, metal U bracket here. It's the differential bearings that sits with the bearings sit on that, so I can rotate that around there. And then a DTI gauge on the back of the crown wheel. So as you rotate it, you can see how much run out is on here. Now I've got a reasonable amount, so I might try and uh, reduce that a little bit. Unfortunately, my DTI gauge is metric and all the measurements are imperial. Um, but ideally, that shouldn't move at all, really. So, I might have to do a little bit of tweaking on that before I put it back in the casing. Um, that's an easy way of 
checking your run out and your crown wheel. And yeah, and then also you want once it's all back in the diff, you want to probably check it again just to make sure it's running true in the casing. Um, yeah, so that's about it for now.